You can start whenever. Well, welcome there, folks. This is going to be a new thing for my channel. I am Basic Blue. I have a guest host with me today, Signal Z. I'll leave a link in the description below for his channel. Um, so we're going to do a little bit of a playthrough to a game that I've been getting into a lot lately. It's called Slay the Spire. And if you're any, uh, if you're familiar at all with the uh, game Magic the Gathering. This game is kind of like that. It uses cards and it uses magic chants. We're going to start a new game. And like I said, this game is kind of a little bit like Magic the Gathering. Um, like, it, it's, it's like if you combine that game and Final Fantasy. And you'll see what I mean once we start playing. There's um, four characters overall that you can play. The Ironclad, <clears throat> the Silent, the Defect, and the Watcher, and the Watcher is an unlock that you get after playing enough um, for the three characters that you start off with. So the Watcher is like a little bit like a more advanced character. Um, so I guess we're going to go ahead and... Uh, are we playing the Watcher? Sure. Okay, so we're going to play the Watcher. And the Watcher I've kind of found is a little bit of... Uh, like more of a timing based character because there's these things called um, what are they called? S poses or stances. stances. Yeah, they're called stances. There's wrath and calm. When you're in wrath, you deal and receive twice the damage. But when you're in calm, the only buff that it gives you is when you exit calm, you gain two energy. Okay. Yeah, I've, I've experienced that a little bit. So that makes it good to come out of the poses, or the stances. I'm going to keep on calling them poses this whole video. When you come out of the stances, you can gain energy, or you might like to call it mana, which if you go back to the M MTG uh, Magic the Gathering reference, you get mana from land, and in this game there is no land. You start off every turn with three energy, or three mana. And then uh, if you want to increase that, you can have cards that give you extra energy. Or you can do like enchantments and that sort of thing. Or you can have relics, which right in the upper left hand corner under the, the word Goro, as we're pointing to it there, you see we have a relic already, it's called Pure Water. That means at the start of each combat, you get a miracle, which is a type of card, into your hand. So each one of the four characters comes with its own custom relic, starting relic. That's what we have right now. So we're trying to decide what we want to do. When you start the game off, you can pick from this weird uh, three-eyed whale. <laughs> and we, we can pick which we want. What do you think we should try? Uh, I don't know, but not only is it a three-eyed whale, it's a three-eyed land whale. Uh, it doesn't need water. <laughs> um, card would be good. There's, there's no disadvantages to that. That could be good. We could get Apotheosis, which and is a card true. that upgrades all of our cards. But we lose max health if we yeah. do it. So we start off with this character. The Watcher starts off with 72 max health. And this game is very dependent on your health. So taking a max health hit is kind of, you know, a pretty hefty price to pay. Um, for I mean, you do obtain a card, but... It's up to you. What do you want to do? I think we should just do the regular card. Okay. Potions is okay. What does the map say? Uh, looks like... I see there's a shop here. Mm -hmm. and there's, there's overall three shops. If we go this way, we can hit two shops. Alright, that sounds good. But we probably won't have much gold. Uh, if we go this way, we can hit one shop and we'll have a lot of gold. Gold de blooms! <laughs> we want the gold de blooms! Okay. Alright, so. Can I do the card? Yeah. Okay, do it. Okay. Nirvana, Fair No Evil, or Follow Up. Uh, do we want to do a block build? We could. We could also do a column build. 
I like the calm build because I'm going to enter into it quite a bit. Okay. Let's do that. Now which way do we want to go? Do we want to go... I think on the right. Triple question or well, enemy, enemy know shop? That there might be a shop item that we get right off the bat that makes a difference. So I think the one on the yeah, right... Yeah, we're not going to have any gold. We're going to have like... Believe. Maybe. 40 he, gold. He shall receive. It's a real phrase or not. We should <laughs> go this way. Because All right. Not only is that way. there a But that shopkeeper, you know, it's a shop. gonna be a little while before we get to him. All right, is that the way we're gonna go? Sure. All right, go for it. Here we go. I hope y'all are excited. Like and subscribe this kind of content. That way, you know, we're likely to do more of it because you like it, right? Is that how that goes? <laughs> that should be how it goes. I think that's how it goes. It's Anyways, a, I'll go ahead. It's a, now they're probably not going to subscribe because they've heard the whole spiel wow. of subscribe and like. If you like this content, yeah, but, every single YouTuber they've ever watched. This is a good game. Yeah. That's true. This is quite a good game. It's like, I don't know. I'm trying to think of other things to compare it to other than magic. It's a, it's a roguelike, for sure. Yeah, it's roguelike. What, how would you define roguelike? What is the official um, definition? Chaos. It's not chaos. That's not what it means. It, it starts off with a set amount of cards, and then everything else is up to chance. Okay. Well, so it's sort of chaotic. Uh, I think of... The, yeah, go with, go with calm. So we're blocking. That's what yeah. that little shield thing is. And He's the attack, doing sword. Ten damage. We're blocking eight damage right here. Right. So uh, we're gonna try to mitigate some of the damage he's gonna do. I also want to deal some damage to him. We also have a miracle card that retains every round, which means that we don't actually have to discard it. Yeah. As you can see, we gain cards, and then every time this goes down to zero, and we have to draw, our discard pile gets put into our draw pile. Alright, so right now we have to beat up this slime. The slime is in our way. And the only thing we can do to attack was that one strike. I particularly like how the slime has multiple eyeballs and each one blinks independently of the other one. Yes, each each slime eyeball has two brains. Sure. <laughs> Makes you wonder, you know, what, is, what does the slime do? Does it, does it read? at night. If it does read, can it read faster? If you have more eyeballs. My question is, how does it get to sleep? Well, also, I think I have an idea. Um, um, okay, so... Do I think you I'm going to Eruption, Fear No Evil, Miracle, Strike. Now, Eruption, when we enter Wrath, will deal double damage, but we will receive double damage. So this will go up to 20, but I think I can kill him because this does not 6 damage, and this will end up dealing 12 damage, and then I can Miracle Strike, which will end up dealing 8 damage. So in total, the Fear No Evil and the Strike, without the 6 damage from Eruption, will kill him. Okay. <laughs> Your math is right here. Yes, I think it is. You don't even need that. There you go. Yeah. And there we go. Uh, so it's done. Okay. Uh, I like that one because when you upgrade foreign influence, it allows you to play the uh, chosen bird for zero, which is pretty good. Hmm. So that's just like the that other card that we found. Why don't we describe card. to them why this is shown up? Oh, so after every enemy that you fight you get a chance to pick another card. And the game typically gives you three choices. They're all colored purple, which if you play any of the other characters, it colors the cards kind of like in accordance to each character's color. So this character's color is purple. Um, if you chose the ironclad, you'll notice that all of his cards are red and so forth. Um, between the other characters. Anyway, so right now it's asking us which one we want to pick. And I think we want to pick the foreign influence card because when you upgrade 
this card, it is awesome. It costs zero to play the attack that you choose, um, which is pretty good, because what you'd want to use that card for is a card that costs maybe two or three energy, um, and then you can get it for zero. And you can pick it, so... You can choose between yeah. multiple different cards. So let's get that one. Um, we might want to get one of the empty series cards, because they allow you to exit your stance, mm -hmm. which can be really good if you're in Wrath and the um, enemy is doing a big attack. Uh, I don't know. Which one do you think is better? Let's do Foreign Influence. Okay. Uh, next enemy. These Caterpillar guys can be um, kind of annoying because when you hit them, they curl up. Yeah, I think I know what I'm going to do. Defense. It's like a main defense. It's kind of but we'll get through. Yeah. What I did there was I I damaged both of them so they would uh, use their ability that gives them block. And after every turn, the the player and enemies will lose any block they have after each attack. So. If I have, like, say 12 block and my enemy does 6 damage, at the end of my turn I will have 6 block left. But I do not keep that. It goes away after the end of my turn. Uh, let's do foreign influence. Uh, and that's very good. That's a good one. Yeah. It hits both of them. And we did it. Yeah. Here we go. That's a, a rare... Silent card? Ooh, fasting. Fasting is... I don't think that's a good one, personally. It's good. Yeah, but it says gain one less energy at the start of each turn. Does that mean it's cumulative? No, so, it's not cumulative. Oh. Cumulative. Well, I don't know. If Unless you can get that back. No. Well, you can get, like, diva form later, and it upgrades to four. Hmm. Get David well, Farm. It's up to you. I don't think that's a good card, personally. Okay. Mm, let's do Weave. Let us know in the comment section if you guys think Fasting is a good card. Yeah. It basically reduces the amount of energy that you have, which is used to play cards, but it increases the potency of said cards. So it's like... You can either choose more buck for your bang, or more bang for your buck. If you want to put it that way. <laughs> um, I would do weave, and then maybe we can get some scry cards. Yeah. Scry just allows you to pick a card to discard, and it will... It will... If it... If the card says draw one card, it will draw the closest to the left card in the, the scry area. So, it's, All right, so it's pretty good. You're gonna use the leaf? Okay. Yeah. Let's go to this question mark. And these are events. So with this one, it's a cleric that will offer to heal us or remove a card for gold. We don't really have any bad cards to remove right now, though. No, we don't. Uh, you can get, like, curses in this game, which can be, like, bad. I mean, usually a curse is bad in a game. Mm -hmm. We got a noisy parakeet over there. Yeah, we have two parakeets that are being noisy while recording. That's what they do. They wait until we're ready to record. Mm -hmm. All right, so maybe... Uh... I don't think we should do either. We should just leave. Keep our gold. Yeah. Apparently we don't trust that cleric. Mmm. Mm. So that's one of those cards that you can get. Now we can remove that if we don't like it. We can pay at a shop and have that removed. And then, so we get a lot of gold. In a way, if it's 75 gold the first time you remove a card, really what you're getting is just 200 gold. Like, for... Yeah, 
So I and, would say we should do it. Well, see the map. If you look at the map here, we've got we've got a long way. To an still. elite. So there's elites. Every so often, there will be like these super strong enemies. There's regular enemies, which are fairly common, and there are powerful enemies, which are elites. They'll give you a relic, which is like this pure water relic. Uh, it'll give you a buff, or depending on the relic, it's very rare, but it can give you a debuff. Um, but we do have a far way to go Excellent. until we remove it. You know what we should be doing? I just thought of this. If you have the watcher unlocked, chances are they know like a lot of the basics of the game. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I didn't even think about that, but that's okay. You never know. This could be the first one if we label this playthrough. Maybe yeah, we should get do it. like a, a series. It'll do watch your playthrough, but it still could come up as like somebody that has never seen the game. It doesn't yeah. matter. I'm just I'm waxing on we poetically. Do a, a signal Z and basic. All right, blue. let's keep going. We're at uh, 16 minutes here, so let's try to keep it under 20. Okay. Keep going. So let's go back to we the We haven't screen. even gotten through the fifth room. So. I know. <laughs> well, we'll have to do a follow-up video. Let's do that. Okay. Let's do 275. 20. Okay. So this will give us a curse, as you can see. Uh, so kind of a bad one, too. But Yeah. Every card we have at the end of our turn, when we have this in our hand, will deal one damage to us. So it can be quite bad if we have too many cards in our hand. But if we don't have too many cards, it'll be fine. I feel a heaviness on my chest now. <laughs> uh, Alright. Uh, first off, let's do foreign influence. Uh, and this is Scry. I'm gonna choose this one because it's mm -hmm. interesting. Uh, this is Scry. So you can see it says, uh, it says Scry 2, draw one card. Now, when I play this, you're gonna see. So I can click on this, and if I click the defend, see how it's highlighted? It will discard the defend into my discard pile, and I will pick up the weave. But if I do the opposite, I will pick up the defend and discard the weave. The weave is better because it's an attack. So, I'm going to pick up the weave. And since it's a zero card, I can just do that, and then strike. I used going... to have a weave back in the day. Oh, I highly doubt that. <laughs> well, I did, you know, well, not really. I had long hair, though. That I can that believe. You, I've, for I've seen it. Oh, you can. You might be able to do an eruption into the strikes. Oh, well, you'd have to use your miracle, eruption. though. Eruption. No, Maybe. I wouldn't. I think you could do it. Yeah, I'd have to use miracle, but if I kill him, the, that works. Eruption. Strike. Yeah, you got two strikes. Miracle. Strike. Death! We Alright. We're getting there. Protect is good. If you Protect upgrade it, it, yeah. it becomes worth it, actually. It becomes two upgraded regular defense. Don't taste me, bro. Alright. Are you gonna pick that one? Sure. I don't know what that reference was to. But it's an older reference. It was before. Sorry. That explains a lot. Not really. It wasn't that long ago. This boss is crazy hard. So this is a mini boss. As I was saying earlier, if you guys have already unlocked the Watcher, you probably know what mini bosses are. Or they're elites, rather, is the technical term. But they're like little mini bosses. And this guy's kind of bad because every time you cast a defense card, it adds to his strength. He has a buff. So he's pretty challenging. Like you have to constantly try to attack him and somehow defend yourself at the same time. So let's see if we can do this. Uh, I think I'm going to eruption just to get some extra damage off. And because our deck is so small, I imagine getting like a fear no evil. Uh, so. I think we're going to eruption strike and turn. 
Now you'll see he'll, he's gonna start off like kind of strong and then the attacks are just gonna get way stronger. Although it's it seems strong only because we're in wrath mode right now. Yeah, he would be dealing 14 so. damage if we everything. We could take the distilled I chaos. I didn't do that, yeah, because it might enable some attacks. Yes! That's what I like to see. That's I would try good. that and see what we get. Or an influence. Uh, mm. How would blow? apply weak, though? I don't know. Well, it's only going to leave you with one. It's 24, 12. He's got 32. So we can kill him. Okay, go for it. Bazinga! That's how you do it. And now, since we killed a strong enemy, we get a relic. So, this will go up here, and it's the tungsten rod that says, whenever we lose HP, we lose one less. So, if we were to lose one HP, we would only, well, we wouldn't take damage. Because we'd only take one, and then that would get reduced. Uh, Essence of Steel, that's a potion. And, ooh, these are all quite good. Uh, empty Fist allows us to exit our stance. Consecrate is just a free 5 damage to every enemy. And Mental Fortress is whenever we change stances, gain, five, gain 4 block. Uh, is that upgrade to 6? I mean, that's pretty good. The Empty Fist is really good too because you have to change stances. Um, empty Fist is good because it's just a free large amount of damage. Uh, if you did that with Wrath and it's upgraded, that could be like 30 damage. Uh, Consecrate is just more damage. Let's go with Empty Fist. Okay. Okay, so we're going to pause on this video and we're going to come back, back with uh, video number two and finish up this map. So thanks for watching and we'll see you guys.